Hey there everybody, this is Shadigo and welcome to the next part of uh, Pokemon Heart Gold. Uh, in this part, in the next uh, seven of the parts after this, I'm going to try and go for the uh, Gym Leaders of Kanto. Uh, what I'm going to try and do with this is uh, going to try and do one Gym a video. Um, off screen, I've done a little bit of leveling up, I've leveled up just once. But all the stats are all right now. I've also given them all vitamins and stuff until they're like, please, sir, no more. Because I can actually afford that now, apparently. Uh, also, in the Celadon uh, City store, you can get the TM for Dark Pulse, and I taught that to uh, Umbreon. But we're going to talk about the uh, Celadon City store when I go there properly in a few videos' time. Anyway, here's. Uh, the first gym leader, Brock. Rock type, same as uh, the. Well, it's actually more or less the same as the red, blue, yellow one, but. Yeah. There's, uh, I think there's actually one more trainer here than there was uh, previously. Because uh, there's another hike here. Usually there was just this Picnicker here. And well, he has a ride on instead. Have you told me out in front with the. Uh, Gummy and Pokey backing him up. Basically, those those three could probably just sweep the uh, gems on their own each. Uh, he told me I was high attack, super effective uh, against rocks. Gummy's got quad damage on uh, rock and ground types, and Pokey has uh, ground type moves and uh, Blizzard and Hell. I may actually far Brock go with uh, the uh, Pokey just so I can ch show you the uh, Hail Blizzard thing and how uh, hollow broke it may or may not be. Oh yeah, these trainers are definitely easy with the Tommy close combat break break. Pick your poison, really. I don't care about the defense drop because uh, they're not going to really touch me. Yes, boom. You're probably going to use explosion on me anyway. So, yeah, two trainers and Brock. I believe has his. Uh, re I believe he's got his redesign from um, when he was in the anime. Uh, this is gonna be this is probably gonna be really really quick as well because like like I said I've got ice type moves I've got ground type moves and both are gonna be really effective in this fight. Uh, I think you got to the two water rock rock fossils so that might be a problem. But I'm gonna set, set, start off with hail here. Uh, hail also actually. Helps with its uh, ability to snow fox at risk its evasion. And I'm just going to. Oh, yeah, I'm not taking damage as well, which is awesome. I could also put Sandstorm and Pokey in the same thing in that, but uh, Graveler also has the same effect. And there you go, Blizzard has just hit. I mean, you might say, oh, it could have just hit from its 75% accuracy or whatever it is. But uh, no, actually, uh, Blizzard is 100% accurate so long as it's hailing. And it even hit, I think it even hits flyers on people who use bounce. Uh, here's one of his trouble ones, Omastar, but uh, Earthquake should easily take care of it. If it wouldn't protect like an Uber. But yeah, you're still gonna take a hit from uh, hell, and I'll still get my earthquake in, and you'll just follow her dad. Well, that's the plan anyway. There we go. I could have used uh, surf and probably got me in a bit of a problem. 
And I'm pretty sure this Kabutops has Aquajet as well as one of its moves. So, yeah. Aquajet is just a uh, quick attack, but water element, but yeah. Another earthquake should make you fall over dad. And should be no problem at all. Uh, is, hell, is hell gonna stop here? I'm gonna have to set. Yeah, I'm gonna have to set hell up here. I don't really need to because I can probably ice shard these. Uh, I can probably ice shard our um, earthquake. It's last two Pokemon, and uh, won't be that much of a problem. I'm kind of glad Iron Tail missed there because I think Iron Tail would probably have killed me. I'm just gonna go Blizzard you, your dad. I think in hell it's uh, Blizzard actually can as a chance of negating, protect and detect. Uh, not too sure about that. I think it does some programmatic chip bubblepedia later and uh let's see. And if that's not the case, I'm just gonna have to write the annotation here saying that oh shit I go is talking at bizarre here. And so that's Pokemon is a Raihan. She kind of learned. And apparently he has an itching problem. This this gym better not have police. I honestly don't like police. Same with ticks as well, but uh Then again one of my favourite Pokemon is based on a tech. And if you know what that Pokemon is, well it's a generation five Pokemon, so uh, you'll probably never know. And that was uh, pathetically easy, so we get the balls badge like really, really quickly. And unlike in the original Generation 2, sometimes these gym leaders will also actually give you a uh, TM as well. In this case, it gives us Rock Slide, which is a pretty nifty move, but I don't know whether I'll teach it to anybody. Uh, best case scenario, I could teach it to um, Pokey, but uh, nah. I don't know. I don't know what the term for Stone Edge is, and I'd rather give it Stone Edge, which is better move, has a high crit ratio, and it's just generally better than Rock Slide. So all I really need to do now is to heal up, go to the next town, and end the video. So uh, I'm going to sign off here. In the next part, we will take on the Cerulean City Gem. So take care, and I'll see you guys then. Ciao.